In this IBM BPM tutorial, uh, we will understand how to integrate WODM, which stands for Webfare Operational Decision Manager, with IBM BPM. Okay, so this is the overall architecture. Like uh, you will be having the BPM application, and from here you will integrate with the IBM ODM. So if you don't know the IBM ODM, IBM ODM is another tool offered by IBM uh, where you can write all sort of a business rules. Okay, so your question will be when in BPM already there are the decision services where we can write the business rule, then what is the need of IBM ODM? Okay, so the need of IBM ODM is basically because the first thing is IBM ODM, whatever the rules you can write in IBM ODM, you can expose to any client application using the SOAP based web service. So it could be a BPM application or it could be a Java application, it could be a .NET application. So basically, rather than writing the rules in different different application, you can write all the rules together in one tool altogether and you can exposed to different application that's one thing second advantage of because when you write rule in bpm then your rules are highly integrated tightly integrated with the bpm so in future if you want to change anything in the rule what you need to do you have to come to your bpm application and then there you have to change and then you have to again deploy your BPM application okay and before deployment again you would like to do all complete testing because uh, rule is not the only one part so you have to basically do a regression testing of your complete BPM process which is not at all required okay and you know already the, the rules are something which can be changed very frequently so we do not want the rule to be tightly integrated with the BPM. So in that case for writing the rule what IBM has done, IBM has created a new tool altogether that is a IBM ODM. We will understand in other tutorial what are the advantages of, of IBM ODM. Here we will see why how to make a connection from BPM to ODM. Okay, so I have logged into the BPM. Okay. So let me go to our process app. Okay. okay. So the first thing is you need to give the detail about the ODM server. So where you can give the detail, you can come over here in the process app settings here and there is a server and you can add a ODM server over here, new server connection and uh, here you can add different type of server like web service, SAP server, IBM content integrator, ilog rule server. So ilog rule server is for the ODM. You can give some name also. Okay, I can give some name as a IBM underscore ODM connection. Okay, fine. And here you can give the server location, basically the IP address of that default development tester stage and production okay so fine i in this current tutorial i do not have the exact odm server so we will give some default ip address and we will see how to integrate when suppose i give 180.87.76.54 okay here the same thing you can give all these details so let me give some mm, some little changes 52 3 55 and 58 okay something like this okay you can save it okay so by default it will connect to this server okay if you want to connect to any specific server you can give the details over here okay 
fine now what you need to do you have to create a decision service okay and I can make over here ODM integration in this decision service what you need to do rather than uh, when we create any business rule we drag and drop the BAL rule service so here rather than dragging and dropping the BAL rule service we will drag and drop the J rules decision service okay so I'm just ODM integration fine okay make your variables so here I can make as a work item bo type is a work item bo then output will again be a work item bo and here type will again will be a work item bo fine go to diagram and here if you select this go to implementation in the implementation you have to select your ODM connection server okay by default the port will be used for 8880 okay if we are using some other port you have to give the port address over here okay fine then you need to provide the username and password to connect to the ODM server this username and password will be provided you okay via, via the administrator and then try to connect okay so once you, your connection will be successful you will get a message over here your connections are successful okay and then you can all you have to also define the input and output data mapping okay so once your connection will be successful to the ODM server the ODM in the rule parameter you can see it over here okay so with the input parameter which you have defined over here work item bo you can map the input and output parameter here okay so that's it you don't need to do any other thing okay so once your connection is successful you will be having the access to all the rules which are defined in the uh, ODM server if you are looking for any specific rule you can write your you can select your rules over here okay fine so this tutorial is about um, ODM integration we did not have the ODM server so I just explained you how to do this okay thank you